Hello friends, welcome to CABPD Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn how to draw the cantilever beam in a very simple manner and within a short period of time. Now let's go to AutoCAD. <coughs> First, we are going to draw the longitudinal section of cantilever beam. First, set the units, U and enter. Select decimal, 0 0.00 precision and millimeter as the units. Click OK. Now take the rectangle command, click here. D enter and provide the dimension of 300 by 1200. Click now, select this and explode it by pressing X enter. Now, select these two lines and delete it. Now, select break line command. Okay, now click from ear to ear, press enter. Now, again, press space bar, click on these two points and press enter. Now take the line command and draw a line of length 1000 plus 1500, it is 2500 mm. Now provide a width of 150 mm. Okay. Now press escape. Now again press space bar to repeat the same command. Click here and provide a width of 300 mm. Click. Now come here and join it here. Now select this line and delete it now take the trim command tr double enter now trim this line now take the offset command and provide an offset of 25 mm in all the direction click click this line click inside and click it inside and select this click it inside and select this line and click it inside here we need to provide two reference lines these are the reference lines now press escape now select the extend command by typing ex double enter now click this line once now click this line twice now press escape now select these two lines and delete it we no longer need that one now select the line command and click here and provide a length of 500 mm click now again press space bar click here and provide the length of 500 now take the pellet command f enter and provide the radius as 25 mm now click the first line click on the second line press space bar first line second line now we can move it here press space bar first line second line now press space bar first line second line now select this line and delete it. Now we need to show the stirrup lines here. Before showing the stirrup lines, uh, select the linear command, click here and uh, provide a length of uh, 1000 mm. Click. Next, uh, press space bar to repeat the same command. Click here and uh, click it here. And provide a length of 1500 mm. Now again press space bar, click here and provide a length of 1500 mm here. Okay, now select the line command, draw one line here, don't provide the full line since uh, this line is inclined. Okay, provide a shorter line here, let's uh, take it as some 100 mm. Okay, now select this line and click on the offset command, O enter. And provide a radius of uh, 200 mm okay now take the multiple option and click it towards the right okay once it crosses the 1000 mm dimension press enter now press space bar to cancel again press space bar to repeat the same command now provide the offset of uh, 300 mm now select the object and take the multiple option and click towards right okay once it crosses the border press enter now select the extend command by typing ex double enter now extend it okay okay now we got uh, the longitudinal section of the cantilever beam now Okay, now let's show the curtailment details. For that, uh, I will take the rectangle command, click, de-enter, 
and provide a dimension of 300 by 300 click here again press space bar click at this point and go to the end point don't click here just track that point and provide a length of 1500 mm click now again press space bar click at this point and track this end point and provide a length of 1000 mm click enter okay once it is over now go to this column and provide an offset of 25 mm click and click it inside now take the pellet command f enter and provide the radius as some 20 mm click it here and take the polyline option and click the inside rectangle okay now select the whole thing and press x enter to explode it now take the circle command and draw a circle here of radius 20 now select this one and click copy and take the midpoint as the base point and copy it go near the curve you will get a point reference point and click over there okay press escape now we need to show the cut element of the bars okay now take the offset command provide an offset of 25 mm and select this line and click it above press escape now select this line and take this grip point and reduce it by a length of 25 mm again select this grip point and reduce it by a length of 25 mm now select the line command click here and join it up to the top okay now select this line and click on the path array and select this line as the path curve and click over these items and provide an items of uh, five lines okay now go to this option here select uh, divide now close the array now we got uh, five lines select it and explode it by pressing x enter now select this line and delete it now go now select the trim option tr double enter now trim these lines okay here you can observe now take the trim option double enter now we don't want these lines delete it now delete this line also now we got the cut element of the bars okay now let's uh, go and draw the cross sections here we need to draw two cross sections at AA and BB now take the rectangle command click D enter and provide a dimensions of 300 by 300 mm click now take the offset command provide an offset of 25 mm take the rectangle and click it inside now take the pellet command and uh, provide the radius as 10 mm click now select the first line and the second line press space bar first line second line again press space bar and uh, now change the radius to 8 mm click first line second line press space bar first line second line now select these two rectangles and explode it by pressing x enter now select the circle and go to the point here and now draw a circle of radius 10 mm select this circle and click on the path array option now select this path curve go to the items here and provide we need 5 circles here provide 5 enter now go to the method here here uh, change this measurement method to divide method and close the array here you can observe the five circles are arranged automatically by dividing the line with in equal spacings now again go to the circle command and go here and uh, draw a rectangle of radius uh, 8 mm select the circle now take the path array option and click on this line 
and change the items to 3 we need 3 circles and change the method by dividing method and close the array ok now we got the cross section to show the bent up of the stirrups select the line command and draw a line from ear to ear and provide a horizontal length of 25 mm at the top and provide a horizontal length of 25 mm at the bottom now select these three lines by window selection click on rotate command click on the midpoint and provide an angle of minus 45 degree now select this line and delete it ok now we got the cross section at AA now let's draw the cross section at BB take the rectangle command click D enter it's of the size 300 by 150 mm ok 300 by 150 mm now take the offset command and provide an offset of 25 mm take the rectangle click it inside now take the pilot command F enter and provide the radius as uh, 10 mm now select uh, these two lines press space bar now select uh, these two lines again press space bar now change the radius to 8 mm now select uh, these two lines press space bar select uh, these two lines ok now select these two rectangles and explode it by pressing X enter take the circle command and draw a circle of radius 10 mm and select this circle and click on the path array select this line and change the number of items to 3 and change the method here to divide then close it again take the circle go near this curve you will get the point click on this point and provide the radius of 8 mm now select this circle click on the path array click on this line and change the number of items to 3 enter and change the method to divide then close it now, now to show the interlocking of the stirrups draw a line from ear to ear and provide a horizontal length of 25 at top and horizontal line of length 25 at the bottom now select these two lines by window selection and click on rotate take the midpoint as the base point and provide an angle of minus 45 degree now select this line and delete it now we got the cross section overall we got the longitudinal section cut element of the bars and cross section please check the comment section below the video for the uh, related drawing of this uh, can deliver be thank you for watching the video